Hello there guys, welcome back to the eBike Repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dash and I take apart and fix very fun and exciting things like this. This is a battery out of a pure, I think it's a pure air e-scooter. Um, it is a 36 volt, Ooh, there you go, 7.8 amp hour, 280 watt hour battery pack by uh, that there. I'm not going to try and say that because, yeah, it feels as though it's in a hard shell. And it's got these um, stuffing glands on them there. That's the discharge port, that's the charge port. At the discharge port, we've got 15 volts. That's not enough volts. The charger kind of comes on, goes off, comes on, goes off. Who knows, but we'll have a look inside. It is indeed a hard shell pack. The end is entirely made of silicon and just nothing else should be enjoyable, I'm sure. Yes. Oh, I think I smell leaky cells. Okay, can go in the bin. Maybe I don't smell leaky cells. I smell something odd. Let's slice this open. So it's got a nice fibre board around all the cells. I can see a BMS y type thing, hopefully, thinking maybe in a sticker up there. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not wrong, I can smell leaky cells. Mm, it's a sweet electrolyte smell um, which means don't plug it in it get hot could blow up everything in a hundred mile radius it'll just all be gone instantly which we don't want oh yeah look at this toast stinky toast as well oh yeah that's smelly right do a bit of investigation then. So, these scooters in the UK, I think they might have been sold by Halfords, I can't remember now, um, but they're the pure, pure branded, I think, you know, they might have been stocked in Halfords at one point, which normally means if they're sold at a high street retailer, you'd like to think it's not made of the cheapest horribleness. Oh, look, leaky, oh, oh, we'll get to that. Um, we'd like to think it's not made of the cheapest horribleness known to man and beast. Which that isn't always the case, but we like to think. What we like to do. Okay. Oh yeah, lots of leaky cells in there. That is not good. It's really not good. Yeah, you can see all the horribleness. Please just peel off without leaving me with a hundred tiny little sticky bits of horrible gook to deal with. Please. Yes. Yes. And the bin. And the bin. And that bit comes out of the way. That's got a temp sensor on it there. BMS sticker. It's the, one of the one bits I wanted to keep just so we could look at all the numbers together. He doesn't love looking at numbers with a strange man on the internet. Okay. Right. Oh no, a little bit more. We're nearly there though. We are nearly there. Oh, I like it when it just comes unstuck easily. Makes me very happy. Okay. So we've got CMICR 18650F8M7ZBDZ 
cells. 2600 milliamp hour, so they'll be in 3P config, um, which, yeah, gives you your 7.8 amp hours. Now, it's we've got a uh, nickel strip, spot welded, nothing there, looks horrible. The balance leads are fine. People often freak out that the balance leads might run along the top of the nickel plate, but the balance lead could, I don't know, let's say there was a short, it realistically it would short out at, what, 5 amps? It's 10 amps max for about that long, and it would melt, and it would stop being shorted. So it's almost like having a bit of fuse wire kicking around there. It's not as big a deal as people always make it out to be. I mean, there is, of course, such a thing as good practice. What one could or couldn't do better, as always, but, you know, it, it's not inherently awful if they run along there. Um, and, you know, in the space constraints, if it can't run along here... It kind of has to, so yeah, anyway, it's fine. Uh, I see leaky cell, leaky cell, leaky cell. You see the um, the insulation rings discoloured on this one here. I see leaky cell. We've actually got this bubbling going on here where the electrolyte has sort of congealed, which is kind of gross. So yeah, leaky cell, that cell might have leaked or it's got some leak on it. It's actually still wet in there. Which is nice. Uh, leaky cell, leaky cell, and yeah, not too bad. So that's that's not good. And then this is 10S, so 36 volt, 20 amp, SP, other things, other things. And it's a HYKJ BMS. So uh, that's dead. It's not cost effective to replace this. You can buy a pure e scooter for, you know, this is 7.8 amp hours. I'm going to charge. 260 quid, something like that, to build something like this. Wrap it back up, put the ends on, seal it, put it all back in the scooter, that kind of thing. Um, it's almost not worth the cost. You might as well buy a new scooter for maybe an extra 80, extra 100 pounds and get another two years warranty on it. Uh, so it's a bit of an interesting one, but what can you do? That's what's inside a pure e-scooter battery pack. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, please feel free to share the video, like the video, comment on the video, tell me I'm, I'm an idiot and my fingers are going to get exploded because of all my rings. Um, you could become a member, channel member, there's like a members thingy, uh, you pay $99 a cent a month, I get a shockingly small quantity of that, but it does help inspire me to keep making these videos for you guys. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.